Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Today we're talking about the DJI Pilot app. This app is actually quite cool, but there are some lags in quality. For example, when uh, having the live view and there are artifacts or a frozen image. And uh, now I thought about how to get rid of those and how to simply improve our Pilot app's performance. And I sat down, I tested some things, and right now I wanna share the results with you. And uh, stay tuned and don't forget to click at the subscribe button down there to not miss any upcoming news while the astronaut dances. Stay tuned. So guys, I can already tell you that there are different settings within the DJI Pilot app that we're now going to take a look at and some settings inside the normal settings menu of our device that we're using. In my case, I'm using an iPad mini 2. Uh, but first off, let's just bring up the DJI Pilot app and let's just press at the four dots at the upper right hand side to bring up the general settings menu. And within that general settings menu, we see the camera sub menu. And first off, we're going to enable the hardware decode by simply tapping at the slider. And now the hardware decode is enabled. That is the first step. Next, we scroll down until we reach the map sub menu and we're going to click at cache map in the background. And that is a very cool feature. That means that we can still fly with a map even if we turn our device into flight um, mode later, which then means we don't have an, an active internet connection. But if we before scroll over the area that we want to fly at, the map will save that data and you will then be able to fly with a map even without internet connection. This is pretty cool. Next off, let's just scroll down until we reach the video cache submenu. To increase the performance of our iPad, we should definitely disable the video cache. That simply means that the iPad is not recording the footage that you are recording already in air onto your micro SD card onto the iPad. Why is the iPad actually recording your footage? That is very simple to understand as well. Um, within the DJI Pilot app, you have uh, an inbuilt feature named Director, and that is kind of an editing software, which then means you can go into editing right on your iPad. But let's be honest, we shouldn't be using that small feature. So let's just keep that turned off, and that definitely improves our Pilot app performance. So that is the first thing that we can do. Now let's just go and uh, talk about some general settings of our devices by tapping at settings and now that brings up the general menu and that is exactly where we wanted to go and we scroll down until we reach the usage menu and we tap at that and uh, we simply take a look at the storage available. We should at least have one gigabyte of storage available and in my case I have 6.1 gigabytes, that is absolutely fine. If you have two less storage available, simply tap at manage storage and delete some apps and that will bring you back into the game. And now let's just go back into the general settings and right underneath usage we find background app refresh. Now let's just tap at that and let's right now turn off the background app refresh. And that won't just help us preserve the battery life, but this will definitely make our iPad run smoother. And finally, I can only tell you to definitely turn off Bluetooth, you won't need that at all, and to turn on the airplane mode, and that turns off the Wi-Fi function and the cellular function of your iPad. And if you have cached the map before, you are now able to fly with a map, even with the airplane mode activated. Finally, another last hint of mine, only use the original Apple made lightning cables. I bought some cheap ones on eBay and uh, being honest, I had several problems with those, some interruptions. And uh, if you invest those, I don't know, eight or $10 for an original cable, you will be definitely good to go. And right now I would be happy if you would subscribe to my channel, if you would leave a thumb up and a nice comment, and if you would check out my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash Tom's Tech Time. And of course I would be super, super, super glad and thankful if you would leave a donation so I can keep up the work at tomstechtime.com slash donate. And now enjoy a few other videos of mine. And this was Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time, over and out. Stay tuned, fly safe.